hi guys and welcome back to my channel Tessie's world I know I know I know it's been forever and a day and let me start off by saying I don't want to apologize but I want to be authentic and honest and I want to say that as much as I enjoy doing my videos sharing with you guys I'm sorry about that sharing with you guys and everything I must be honest and say that I'm human as well and um, sometimes I'm just either not in the mind frame, I'm just either too lazy, or I'm just either too busy. And that's the straight up honest truth. I cannot come and make a video if I'm not in the mood because then my message is not clear, my energy is not right, and my delivery will be shit. Excuse my French, but that's how it will be. So, unlike other people trying to like spruce themselves up and pretend that they're in the moment when they're not and yada 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 that's not what i want my channel to be about you guys know that so i would rather just say that i missed you guys i know you guys miss me and um i am going to work on getting back into my rotation because i actually do enjoy doing my videos as i just said so yeah that's about it i mean it hasn't been that long but it has been long enough i think at least like 10 days or something like that which is in YouTube eternity and actually in our lifetime eternity because we do everything second by second so yeah guys I hope that you guys have been doing well I hope that you finished out your summer strong I hope that you entered your autumn with bliss and happiness peace love guidance support clarity understanding um, self-worth self-awareness self-reflecting self-reflection I'm sorry I should say it like that confidence courage faith um, I hope that's how you entered your fall season. Uh, fall is my favorite season, so I'm ready for it. Although, I think it's really ironic that it's fall, and now we're having some of the best summer days. So, yeah, okay. But, yeah, I, I hope that's how you guys ended your August and entered your September. I hope that you guys have a plan for September. I hope that you guys have a to-do list for September. Set some goals for yourself, and make sure that you use this month to... Prove to yourself that you're worth it, okay? And prove to yourself that you deserve it. So, um, I think that's all I wanted to say for that. And to get into the video, so a part of me wanted to name the video Procrastination. A part of me wanted to name the video What Are You Waiting For, right? So, I haven't decided which one I'm choosing, but it'll be one of those. And you guys will probably see what I chose before the video starts. So yeah, but self-included, I wanna give this message to myself as well. Stop procrastinating and stop waiting. Listen, we all want a better life, right? We all dream about it, we all speak about it, we all, um, we all have that I can't wait for it, you know? type of um, energy or conversation with ourselves right but the thing is sometimes we just we can't get it going you know it's not that we don't have the drive it's not that we're not ambitious it's not that we're not determined it is that sometimes we just can't get it going and if you can't find your reasoning or your reason to get it going then truth of the matter is you'll stay stagnant where you are and Sometimes I have to tell myself that it's okay to have down days, but my fear is once I have a down day, sometimes I feel like I stay there, so I try not to have them. And also my my fear also is sometimes if I have a down day, I feel like I'm wasting that time. Like I could be using that time for something else. Um I noticed that procrastination has been hitting me um very hard lately to the point where I'll procrastinate so bad and at the end of the night i have anxiety and i'm angry at myself for not using my time in a wise way you know uh, so yeah procrastination sucks i don't know why you do it i know sometimes i do it because i'm like ah, i'll get to it you know what i'm saying but the truth of the matter is why not go ahead and get it done in that moment when you can have it done because guess what? Another task is gonna come up to be done. And that's what always happens. I wait and I'll say I'll get to it and then before you know it, I have 10 things that I need to now get to because I haven't gotten there. So that's how I feel about procrastination. In terms of waiting, I also had to get over that hurdle of waiting. Uh, there were things that I wanted to do and I always thought that I needed a friend, being honest. 
it is not that I didn't want to do it for myself, but it is that I wanted to share that experience with someone. I'm super proud of myself and happy that I got over that and I realized that the best person to experience anything that I want to with is myself because then I don't have to hear someone's opinions, someone's naysay or anything else regarding what it is that I want to experience and I don't have to wait on them. I can get myself together, get myself dressed, uh, purchase whatever needs to be purchased and go out there and do it for myself and let me tell you something of all the times that I've done that I've had an amazing time honestly I've had a great time all the times that I have done that so I would encourage anyone right now that is waiting for whatever it is you're waiting for it doesn't have to be just to experience something but whatever it is you're waiting for I would encourage you to stop waiting have the faith have the drive have the ambition have the curiosity to want to experience it for yourself and see what it's like. Because also experiencing something for the first time with someone else can ruin your experience, right? You don't know if they're truly going to like it. They may love it more than you do. And now it's just a mess of just a whole bunch of pretending and energy sharing that you really don't have to share, right? So stop waiting. I have lately been noticing that I am, and my husband pointed this out too, that I'm constantly saying, I can't wait. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for that. And it's almost like I've placed myself in this mindset of Tessie, when you get those things, when you do those things, your life will be fun. Your life will be amazing. Your life will be worth it. And that's a really sad way to look and think at things because what I'm doing right now and what I'm training myself to accept is that right now I can't do some of those things. Right now I can't experience just a tad bit of that. So I'm not enjoying myself right now. I'm not really living the best version of what I want or who I want to be right now because I think I need to wait for other things to fall in line and I think that we all do that I know it's not just me I know it's not just me we all do that we all have a list of things that we have on the back burner that we're waiting to be able to do and experience because we don't think the life that we have right now is either worth it that we have enough time that we deserve it there's a whole bunch of things that we place on ourselves that make us wait to experience things and as I am trying to tell myself to get out of that like I wait like I stop waiting to experience certain things with friends and things I'm trying to have myself realize that I don't need to put these things on the back burner because I deserve them now for a real quick story time example I wanted to do yoga for I don't know how long, right? I was always like, oh my God, I want to do it. It looks so amazing, yada, yada, yada. And for a year, I will not lie to you guys. Every year I make um, goal lists of what it is that I want to accomplish throughout that year. They don't have to be crazy, um, enormous things. Sometimes they're super simple, like something like trying something new throughout a whole year right that's crazy I also break that down into months as well so I have a year a yearly goal and then I have a monthly goal as well each month I write goals so for a whole year I had on my list try yoga try yoga try yoga and I was seriously waiting to try to get a friend or someone to go and try yoga with me yes before I would try it eventually I took my husband and I said let's go I brought me a yoga mat I got me a little sports bra and stuff like that and some little like shorts or whatever. Um, I downloaded this little, um, I don't know how to say or describe it, but I downloaded this, I guess I would call it an app um, onto my TV with a girl that was, that she's a yoga professional um, from YouTube. Her name is Tara Styles. if anybody wants to uh, get into it with her. But I downloaded that onto my television and then one day I just was like, I'm going to go do it. Now, here's the gag, y'all. I knew nothing about it. So I just clicked whatever I seen. Come to find out, I was doing more of a expert. Not crazy, but more of an expert than a beginning yoga. Yes. So I started, I fell in love with it. And I was actually getting it done. I was getting it done. It wasn't until a little while later that I realized that, oh my God, I was supposed to be starting at beginner, but I started at like a little expert level. But yeah, the moral of that story is I stopped waiting. 
I stopped waiting and now guys I love yoga I love yoga like yoga is something that I know that I would do for the rest of my life I will always have a yoga mat I will always have a yoga space I will always have to incorporate that in intertwine that into my life on an everyday basis and if I would have kept waiting I wouldn't have got it I would have never realized that I loved it as much as I thought that I would and that's what happens we keep on waiting and we're missing out on things that truly feeds our soul we're missing out on things that truly can elevate us like we want to be elevated but we're waiting for someone we're waiting for something to tell us that it's okay to experience and the more that we do that we don't realize that we're keeping ourselves in this stagnant energy stagnant mindset stagnant mentality stagnant uh support system we're keeping ourselves stagnant because we're not giving ourselves the things that are waiting for us to embrace are waiting for us to um, love on so that we can turn into this great being that we know that is inside of us so yeah man I really want to just say stop procrastinating and stop waiting I don't know what you're waiting on but I'm telling you to stop waiting go after it do it it's okay to plan it's okay to start from the lowest level it's okay but at least start you know at least do something because you you you're attracted to it for a reason trust me whatever it is that you want to um dive into is attracting you it is calling you for a reason and if you don't go give it to yourself you're not doing anything more than hurting your own self that's all you're doing you don't need a friend let me tell you something it's best to go and be with a like-minded like energy person when you're in that um when you're in that environment then try to drag somebody to it if that makes any sense so it's better for me to go to a yoga studio and embrace that person that's already in that yoga studio because I know they already like it then try to bring a friend who never even thought of yoga who says that it, it's pointless and try to make him or her love it you see how that just doesn't work it is like it, it just doesn't work that's not that's just not helpful that's more harmful so we have to stop waiting we have to realize that the more that we wait the more that we waste okay and no one has time to waste no one has energy to waste no one has any of that to waste so we have to realize that it's important for us we have to realize that procrastination can be a good and a bad thing sometimes you can procrastinate because people work better under pressure sometimes you can procrastinate into the point where you don't now accomplish anything because you've procrastinated so yeah go get it find out find what it is that you love find out why it is that you love it and then dive into it try something new you never know what it is that you haven't tried that is for you and um actually i think that's all i'm gonna say right now i did say something in this video that i realized that i want to do a video on so i can't wait to do that one and yes guys I totally forgot I'm so sorry I wanted to be honest about me not making my videos that I forgot to say happy wise Wednesday happy wise Wednesday guys so with all that I just said I want to say use your wisdom and be grateful for it use your wisdom and choose the battles that are right for you every battle is not for you there are battles that we get into that is a waste of time and there are battles that we get into that we need to get into because it helps us grow so with what I just said use your wisdom and realize that what you're waiting for is waiting for you to come and take it use that wisdom you know realize that okay so yeah I wasn't supposed to go for that but I am supposed to go for this and this over here is really what's for me and do that you know what I mean use your wisdom to understand that things are not sometimes panning out or going as planned because that's not the way that it's supposed to go for us our wisdom wants us to go another way we're too smart to choose that so we need to choose this you know because over here is our challenge over here was something that we already mastered so to keep going over that to keep going into that is a waste of time and again time is not what we want to waste we want to stop waiting because we're wasting it right so yeah guys happy wise Wednesday wise Wednesday today make the wise decision regardless of whatever it is 
make a wise decision and realize how the rest of your day falls into place and realize how that wise decision could have definitely helped your life fall into place you know so um yeah guys that's about it. I'm really going to try to get back into it because as I said, regardless of me sharing, these are these are things that I am going through as well. These are things I want to grow past too. These are my challenges as well. So it's not about me trying to come on here and, you know, be that like minister. I don't want to say minister, professor or be any of those things. That's not what it is. I'm going through this as well. But I just want to share it with others because I know that there are people that can relate to this. And if I can give a piece of encouragement to help someone go a long way, I'm super happy to do that. So happy Wise Wednesday, guys. And I am I want to say um, that I hope that you guys have a great day. So you know what I always say? If you're stressed or anything, take a walk. If not, take a sip. If not, save up, pack them bags and take a trip. Realize that anything that you need to do is what you need to do for yourself. Do not let anyone, anyone stop you from doing it because it is what is going to make you happy. And find what makes you happy and love on it. Love in it. Submerge yourself in it and do what you have to do. Share, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend, a foe, um, a co-worker, uh, a stranger you know just share the video because I know that there's a lot of people out here that are procrastinating and waiting and we have to figure out for first why we're doing it secondly how we can break it and three how we can realize that it is not such a negative thing if we can turn if we can turn it into a positive right guys so yeah guys um have a great day and yeah have a great day okay bye guys